let's solve this differential equation. So we have y to the fourth, which is the fourth derivative of y, minus 16y equals 0. Now, homogeneous, there's nothing on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and find the characteristic equation, which is r to the fourth minus 16 equals 0. Now, from here, r to the fourth equals 16. We're going to have four roots, fourth power polynomial. Now, to solve this, I am simply going to rename r squared as x. So, I'll plug it in. All I am going to have x squared equals 16. I can solve this one. x1 and 2 is plus minus 4. And from here, I can go ahead and solve for my original, the r, when the first one is going to be r squared equals x1, which is 4. So, my r1 and 2 is plus minus 2 which is a real number, and r2 equals x2, which will be negative 4, right here. So that's going to be my r4, 3 and 4, and that's going to give me plus minus 2i, imaginary number. So we have four roots, two real, two imaginary. So we're going to deal with them accordingly. The two real ones, let's start with those. So for a real root, we're going to have simply e to lambda t. So the first one, r1, will be equal to 2. So that's going to give me a y1 equal e lambda t. And my lambda is the 2. So simply e to the 2t. And my second root is r2 equals negative 2. That's going to give me y2 equals e to the lambda t, where the lambda is now negative 2. So, e to the negative 2t. Now, for the complex numbers, we're going to use these multiple complex roots. Here's uh, the layout, my complex number, and we can see how it breaks down. And this is the formula we're simply going to use. So, we're going to go ahead and plug it in. So, my first complex root, r3, will be equal to 2i. That's going to give me y3, and it is e to the alpha t cosine beta t. Alpha is my real part, beta is my imaginary part. Real part is 0, so this e to the whatever, to the 0 becomes uh, 1. Cosine beta, where my beta will be 2. So that's it, cosine 2t. For the conjugate, the r4 equals negative 2i. So for the conjugate, we're simply going to use uh, e alpha t sine beta t, where the negative, the conjugate part, will be taking care of the sine. So alpha, again, 0. So e to the 0 is 1. So we have left sine 2, sine 2t. There you go. Sine 2t from that t. Now to finish it up, all we have to do, put all these together. Because our solution, y, is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4. So, make sure you also include the constant, right? So, c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2 plus c3 times y3 and plus c4 times y4. And there you have it. That's it.